Happy Sunday! How are you all? Welcome to the Chicala Kitchen. I'm Patty, those of you who knows me, and if you're new here, welcome, and we hope you'll come back again. So today, we're not doing a full-blown video on any particular recipe, um, but I thought I'd share some tips and tricks that some of you may have seen me do, and for those of you who haven't, maybe they'll help you. So we are having chicken a la parmigiana today for dinner, and I thought I'd show you how I go about frying, how we do our breadcrumbs, and I do things um, old school, more or less. And I think I've told many of you that I have some pretty severe health issues, so uh, no processed foods in this house. But we're gonna show you what we do. Now, I did a lot of catering, a lot of catering for a lot of years. And one of the things that I can tell you is I don't like washing dishes. Really don't know very many people who do. So we try to cut steps along the way. When I am frying, you know, the, the regular way people do is they do flour, then egg, then breadcrumb. We cut out a step and it works perfectly. So let me show you how we fry things, whether it's chicken cutlets or eggplant or zucchini or whatever you're frying. This works beautifully. Here's our egg. We beat up our egg. We take a little bit of flour and we mix it in. And we've cut out one dish. It just gives it a little body. You dip in this and you dip it in your breadcrumb and it works perfectly. And how about that? We don't have to dip in flour and then egg and then breadcrumb. No need to do that. Here we go. Now, one thing I will tell you, season, 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 season. Very important. I keep by my stove a mixture of salt, pepper, and garlic powder right here, pre-mixed. It's the first thing that goes in, all right? Season more than you think you need to because food tends to bland out when it's fried. Now, I will tell you, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I have seen all over TikTok, somebody thinks they're a genius, but all over TikTok I'm seeing people say, oh look, in your egg mixture, put some salad dressing. This is nothing new folks. Nonnas have been doing this for centuries. But did you ever see your grandma throw some good season salad dressing mix in her eggs? Guys, you do you, there is no judgment here. But there's a reason my nonna and my grandma did not use good seasons. Let me explain why. I bought one just to tell you. Um, let's see. Um, cheese cultures maltodextrin, potassium sorbate, beta carotene, calcium disodium EDTA. I don't think that's anything my nonna ever heard of. Anyway, I have health issues. My doctor told me nothing processed, so that's not something I can use. Let's tell you what I do use. Balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, that'll go in here. I have oregano. I have garlic, and here's my secret ingredient, what all Sicilians use in everything. Citrus. You can grate a lemon, zest a lemon. I use dried lemon peel. I get mine on Amazon. Sprinkle some of that in there. Citrus brightens every flavor. Okay. A little bit of this. go. A little bit of olive oil. I've got my oregano. And I'll get my garlic in there. Well seasoned and then it's going to go into my breadcrumbs. Now let's talk breadcrumbs. 
This to me is super important. There is no Progresso or Four C's around here. I make all the bread around here. If you don't make your own bread, that's fine. My suggestion, go pick up a couple of loaves of Italian bread. You know, the big fat ones, not the little baguettes. The big fat ones. Set them on your counter for two days, slice them up, cut them into cubes, and put them in the oven on a sheet of parchment paper on a tray till they get nice and dry. Then let them cool completely. Don't do this warm. Put them in your food processor and blitz them. Then you put it in a big bowl and you mix it up with a whole lot of cheese. I use Parmesan and Pecorino Romano. Basil, parsley, garlic, oregano. Really season them up. And this is what you get. You're welcome. Best breadcrumb mixture you ever had for anything you need it for. You will never go back to the store breadcrumbs. You get more, it costs less, and this is the best mixture you will ever have for anything you need it for. When I'm making meatballs, I will soak some in milk. This is my mixture. When I'm making my arancini, this is my mixture. When I'm making my cutlets, this is my mixture. You do you, this is a judgment-free zone, but I am telling you, you will thank me for this. Okay, when you're cutting your chicken, we like our cutlets nice and thin. See this? This is that dinky little cutting board you can get at the dollar store. They're like three, foot, well, now it's a dollar twenty-five, but they come like three in a pack. Don't cut your chicken cutlets on your cutting board. Anything that touches raw chicken will be contaminated. I keep several of these, all right? Put one of these on your cutting board, slice your chicken, dip your chicken, put it in your breadcrumbs. I have my tray right here, right onto your tray. And as soon as you're done, this goes straight in the dishwasher where it will be sanitized, wash your hands, and your cutting board stays clean. Guys, have a wonderful, oh, one more thing. We are going tonight to be just two of us, me and my husband. I'm not gonna make a whole tray of chicken cutlets, of chicken Parmesan. When you make chicken Parmesan and it's left over, you're gonna have, and you put it back in the oven, the cheese gets kind of gummy, goopy, not fun. The best chicken Parmesan is fresh chicken Parmesan. So. We make individual servings, just enough for the two of us. These things, I don't know of a thrift store that does not have these sitting on a shelf. So if you run into a thrift store and you find some of these, I think I must have 30 of them. We use them for everything. You can do baked eggs, you can do chicken, you can do whatever you want on them. These, they're called gratin dishes or gratin. We're gonna make fresh chicken parmigiana in these, the extra cutlets. We can do chicken sandwiches. I can slice them in little slices and use them on a salad. Or if we want more, my husband wants it again, I'll just make him a fresh one. Perfect. Now, when you're ready to make your chicken a la parmigiana, here's the secret. Whether you do it on a in a full tray or whether you do it on these, a thin layer of sauce on the bottom then your cutlet. Here's the secret. A thin layer of cheese on top of the cutlet and then a thin layer of sauce and then cheese into the oven till it's creamy, melty, gooey. Mwah. Perfect. All right. The secret is to put that thin layer of cheese on top of the cutlet. That prevents that peel the cheese off the top thing that happens when you try to cut it. You'll always have cheese on your cutlet. Buon cibo, buon amici, good food, good friends, good fun. Have a wonderful Sunday. Come back and see us this week. We're going to be doing those fabulous Mexican chocolate crinkle cookies. We're going to be doing a delicious orzo salad. We are going to have a lot going on this week. So come back and join us again in the La Chicala kitchen. Have a wonderful day. We love you. Bye.